welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is daisy and i'm the host of this channel in this channel we talk about self-growth and self-development i opened up this channel because i am passionate about having deep conversations i love to talk i love to talk about different aspects of life i love to ask questions i love to like go deep about why things happen the way they do so in this channel I just be i'm just going to be sharing my thoughts about different things and we're going to be talking about just how to probably improve ourselves and just different nice fun conversations so today's discussion is going to be <laughs> i don't know if it's it, i think it's going to be a rant i don't think it's even just going to be a discussion i think it's going to be a rant okay i'm going to talk about the patriarchy and i don't like the patriarchy at all as you can see I'm, uh, the, the way i said it I, it's going to be a rant but anyway that aside <laughs> I'm going to talk about the patriarchy and just how I have grown up seeing this system shape the lives of the, the people in the society, especially women, vis-a-vis -vis men. And these are just my very honest opinions. Any person is free to share their own opinion about the patriarchy. And yeah, let's have a talk about it. So... I think the patriarchy is a system where men dominate all aspects of leadership or different all the sec sectors in the society the different sectors in the society from family to leadership to the social life and women are placed in a in a subordinate position compared to the man men are the ultimate decision makers in the society and at all levels of of leadership so now me i am i am against it and i have seen the patriarchy affect me or the people around me or shape the women around me in a certain way and i'm just going to be sharing different different aspects of it that i feel like are unfair i consider myself a feminist and i I didn't know I was a feminist until, like, I was always disagreeing certain things. Like, most times, people are on this side. Me, I'm like, no, me, I'm on this side. And I always had my very, <laughs> my very valid, core, strong debates on it. But um, I, I realized as a feminist when I read um, We Should All Be Feminists by... Chimamanda Ngozi and it brought out I, I actually understood I'm like wow Daisy all this while you've been fighting for these things Kumbe you're a feminist like I'm like wow and most people think being a feminist is actually a bad thing they think you're fighting against men oh my god you hate men but I don't think that is it men are actually also feminists there are men who are feminists but just because the society is not aware but think feminists are only women which I think is very wrong because a feminist is anyone who wants, a person who wants equal opportunities for both men and women, for both genders. Like, we are all supposed to be at an equal level, not one dominating the other, not the female being inferior and the male superior. We, we all have to have an equal standing in society, and that is feminism. And I think it's a good thing to be a feminist, but anyway, yeah, that is my take on it. And I am going to give my honest opinion on what I think about the patriarchy. I think growing up, what I saw was they told girls to be, girls are taught to be meek and humble and obedient. Girls are raised to not shout. Girls are raised to be the quiet type. When you're talking to a girl, she's not supposed to respond back. She's supposed to be... Humility is key. So, a lot of the times... I don't think that's a bad thing. But a lot of the times, women grew up not knowing that they actually had voices. That they had opinions to share out. That they had something they can offer the world. Just because you are told to be... You're taught to be meek and humble. Even in, in, in situations or in rooms that don't require you to that require you to actually voice out your opinions, 
you will most women actually end up keeping quiet and i don't think that's the same for men men are told are taught how to be aggressive how to be violent they are taught how to be confident but that was not actually the case for the women and i don't and i think that is a bad a bad thing because now you you get out if you get out to actually places places of leadership or places which require women to have actually a voice and put them in a, an equal setting standard with men you find that the men are actually dominating because they are more confident they are more aggressive and women are actually humble because they actually they are they have low self esteem and i think that's that's very wrong and the other thing that i have uh, seen because of the patriarchy women always see themselves as the surveyed and they see the male as the surveyor like just because of the patriarchy women have always been conscious that we, we have always be, been hypersensitive of how will i look we have always been doing things to please the male or we we have been taught in a certain way that we are not supposed to be extra like have you ever have you ever moved and you're passing a gang of guys and out of the blue you get hypersensitive you like what if they are seeing me what will they say am i doing it am i moving well uh you're moving but you're scared of the comments are going to shout at you after you're scared you, from nowhere you you're conscious um, am i dressed the right way am i am i moving well and if you actually do something a certain way you actually blame yourself for it you're like oh maybe i shouldn't have moved this way because okay guys i don't know how to explain this but i for the longest time i have been feeling like i am being surveyed like i have been acting in ways that make me feel like i have to do certain things a certain way because if i do it this other way the male gender would judge me for it you get and the other thing that i have seen that is really an injustice is let's say a woman is raped there is a way that society and even both men and women mostly the men are going to come out and are going to blame the woman for the fact that she was actually raped like you are going to hear comments like oh why did she choose to wear the skirt that she wore on that fateful day or things like oh she the way she was walking she walked in a way that was that was seducing and arousing to the men around her like are you supposed to blame a woman for an act an abusive act that was done to her by a man and make it look like it's her fault for it like then if let's say now it happens the woman is going to think that oh my god it's my fault i shouldn't have gone this but if that's why the society went back to the root cause and saw things for what they truly were and said oh what this boy did was was wrong what this man did to this woman was wrong and should not be it should not be encouraged let's say like it's somehow okay if such an act happens like now let us put it like now the other way round let's say a woman rapes a boy like it is going to be like the worst act that has ever been committed on earth i am not trying to to give to say that it was okay for her to do such an act i'm not giving justifications for it in any way but i am going what i'm trying to say is when it's a woman who has done such an offense the gravity is this yeah hi but when it's a man like ah it's okay girls are raped every day like oh why did she wear such a skirt oh no, no. like i want i want things to be the way they are supposed to be judged not basing on gender or because it's whether whether it's a woman who did it or a man and if it's a man who did it let us see it for what it is that it's a wrongful act let's not find justifications for the fact that oh he did it because let's not put the because there let's just see it for what it is a wrongful act and leave it at that then the other thing that that i think is is bothering like it's so absurd and saddening is the fact that it's okay so it makes promiscuity very fine very but let's say 
a woman comes out and she declares she has two men who probably by the way are fine with being her husbands okay but i'm just saying let's say a woman has two men you're going to hear things every comment you're going to hear things like oh she's a slut she's a whore she's cheap how dare she what she's embarrassing then you're going to find fellow women saying oh she's a shaming motherhood oh she is like is it necessary like is it necessary like me, me the thing that bothers me is the fact that when it is a man who does such an act it is so fine but then when it's a woman it's something like oh it's so unfit women are not supposed to do that whether it's good or bad i don't i don't i don't have i don't want us to attach gender to an act let us see things for what they are like it's it's like we're, we're encouraging the boy child to keep on being the way they are to keep on being promiscuous to keep on being to act without emotion to act without remorse and we are encouraging the girl child to be humble be obedient act in a certain way go through a straight line then we are busy teaching the boy child to take the other route you the girl please take a straight path then the boy please go this way for your way is this way and i think it is bad because i think when we are raising children we are actually supposed to raise them in the same way let's say in a household there is a boy and a girl we are supposed to raise the the boys and the girls with same moral standards like with same morals like you tell the girl oh you'd be like let's say i'm now the girl daisy you do not shout at at people you come back and tell the boy oh dennis you do not shout at girls or at people then if if you if you're telling a girl like you're telling a girl oh daisy i would like you to keep yourself till marriage wait to have sex till marriage like it is so easy for the society to come and tell girls oh you a girl please keep yourself till marriage but they never teach boys how to keep themselves till marriage like it is a girl's thing for you a girl by the way you are going to have to wait till marriage but then for the boys they are not taught that and the funny thing is a boy is going to like it's okay for a boy to to lose their virginity at 12 like it's okay he's finding himself he's looking for the right he's yeah he's getting experience but as soon as a girl is is seen doing that it is a problem i think we should raise our children the same way and that is how the society is going to get better but if we raise them in a discriminatory way like women are supposed to have a certain standard they're supposed to have a certain straight like to go through a straight line and then the boys are supposed to go this route you see how it actually doesn't match and then the funny thing is at the end of it all after boys after like a guy is going to grow up and then he's going to probably mix up with all these girls around town and then when he's getting married he's looking for a virgin and he want to marry a virgin if a girl is not a virgin oh now she she has a problem why they put the why are you not like okay me those those things those things like bother me and they stress me and i'm just giving out my opinions because i have kept it at heart and i feel like it is not right society it's time for society to change maybe the patriarchy served its time there was a time that maybe it was needed in society i don't know but where we are right now there needs to be a change in mindset and we need to and it can't change if we actually don't start approaching them those values that no longer serve us from from the root let's even start teaching our children from childhood like this is how you behave like how i notice how when children are growing up girls are taught to be nurturers girls are taught to be home keepers you they are taught how to keep the, a man in a house you're supposed to learn how to cook learn how to clean but men are not taught how to do those things a man is not taught how to clean a man is not taught how to cook because it is a girl's role are you seeing how like conflicting that is and we try so hard to teach women how to be home keepers but we never teach the men the boys in a home how to treat girls we don't teach men how to be good leaders we don't teach men how to handle women around them so you find in a home the man a woman is submissive and a woman is 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 the nurturer but 
a man the man does not know how to take responsibility the man doesn't know how to account to do accountability in the home how to to take care of his family how to lead the wife because men men fix are so fixated on submission like i want a woman who is submissive i actually don't have a problem with submission as long as the person i'm submitting to is he a good leader is he going to lead me I might think a future with that person. So many men want submission, but they don't want to lead. Like you want me to. It's like it's it's not a give and take. It's like a win-win. Like, sorry, it's a give and take. I am going to give you submission. Please lead me somewhere. So me, those are those are the things that that kind of ache my heart, if I'm to say. <laughs> like they make me troubled. Like I am. You probably be having sick like at night and I'm thinking as in why is it is it normal is it necessary I think the more the society actually opens up to to reality to the reality of things and seeing things using the eyes of gender not just eyes that are going to make a certain gender feel superior to the other and then the other inferior I don't think that is how it's going to work and people think that if a woman is given the same standing in society as a man as a man they are going to disrespect he's, she's going to disrespect um, the man or become unruly but that is not it that is not it and men like throwing this line of oh a woman a man was born before eh? Which, what is it? a man was born before a woman like god ma- sorry it's god made man before a woman so man should dominate a woman yes god did that god did that but also god god equally jesus said we are all equal before him so i don't know how why society makes it look like the woman is supposed to remain inferior and under a man and the other thing that annoys me is the fact that women women are told to be successful but they are told not to be successful don't be too ambitious like we all have in this life we all have our own dreams and aspirations and goals but you will find that if it's a woman pursuing her goal in life she is termed oh she's too ambitious like you're not you're supposed in whatever you do you're supposed to be under man you're not supposed to be too much you're you're supposed to be successful but not too successful because if you're too successful you're going to intimidate the men around me the the, the men around you men are going to be scared to approach you I remember that there's a friend was telling me oh daisy make sure you get a uh, uh, be in a stable relationship by the time you leave campus because when you leave campus without a man the men around you are going to get intimidated by you because men fear fear lawyers and established women and I'm like why meaning if like a person is intimidated by they're not they're not for you. Okay, guys, this this was a really serious rant, but this is my honest opinion. And you are allowed to share whatever you think of this in the comment section. Please let's engage, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, bye.